Hey guys, how's it going? Demon Dog here. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Evanescence track. It's called Imperfection. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm not going to say that oh, they're one of those bands where either you like them or you don't. Because honestly, every band is like that. You like them or you don't. But yeah, this uh, I will say this about this band. Uh, it's either a band that um, you're familiar with, uh, whether you listen to them or not. And yeah, everyone um, who likes rock and metal um, knows who Evanescence is. And well, me, uh, they were my favorite band when I was younger. And thanks to them, I'm listening to, uh, you know, all the kick-ass metal right now. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, with Evanescence, uh, they're a band that uh, people uh, actually forget about them, you know. Uh, uh, before their third album came out, people only knew them because of Falling and The Open Door. They didn't really pay attention to their live album. Um, and yeah, they, uh, they, you know, they all of a sudden forgot about them. Then 2011 came with their self-titled and, uh, yeah, then people started to remember who they were and yeah, they became popular again. And then, you know, again, they left for like, I don't know, five years. You told me, like, for like five or six years. Oh, five years, because 2012, you know, they were touring for their self titled album. And yeah, five years, and people forgot about them again. And now they come out with a new album, which um, maybe most of us who. Um, who are familiar with their music back then and all that stuff, I think we forgot about them. I certainly did. I thought they were going to take a very long hiatus and they were going to come back when Amy Lee was already old. Um, but no, they're actually back. And yeah, uh, they came back with this new track, uh, Imperfection. Before that, uh, they did another version of Bring Me to Life, Synthesis. It's like a... Well, I haven't heard that version, but I will talk about a track that I've heard. I didn't like it that much because it was mostly like electronic sounds. It's like if they were doing a collaboration with like, I don't know, Linkin Park or... Uh, something like that, or Skrillex, you know, doing that thing that Korn did, uh, collaborating with, uh, I forgot his name, I just said it, uh, Skrillex. Um, it, it's like if they're doing that, um, because uh, this track, uh, it has a bunch of, like, techno uh, stuff, you know. I'm not really an expert on this, I can't use the right terms, so please don't hassle me about it. But one thing that I, uh, that I like and that I've always liked about Evanescence is the piano. Amy Lee, she's a talented pianist and yeah, it's got some good piano bits on the, on the track. And as for the vocals, um, the chorus is alright, but yeah, the verses, it sounds like uh, she's rapping. Um, she sounds like uh, like another one of those pop singers like, I don't know, Demi Lovaro or whatever her name is. That's what she's sounding like. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, they took a long time. They'll probably come out with something that kicks ass, but no. They came out with uh, something lame. Um, so, yeah. Eh. 
So yeah, this track I give it like a four out of ten. I give it a five, but you know, since it sounded like uh, Amy Lee was rapping, uh, I give it a four um, because uh, with Bring Me to Life it was different. Uh, because they were starting and all that stuff, but then when you heard them, not every song was like, bring me to life. It was just, um, a rock band doing their thing, but in bring me to life, even Amy Lee said it, uh, she didn't like the song because, because of the rapping, uh, vocals, you know, the male vocals, like, uh, I can't wake up, save me, and you know, and all that stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, they sound like a rock band with a few ballads here and there. Um, they have their own talent and all that stuff, and they still do, but it was their uh, style. Now I feel that they're, um, you know, uh, wanting to um, appeal to another audience, you know. So yeah, that's it. That's all I gotta say about this song. I'm Demon Dog. I'll see you next time. And as always, keep it metal.